हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड वेलकम अगेन टू माय चैनल फॉइस वाइज दिस इज द सेकंड लेक्चर अबाउट एल एस एंड जे जे कपलिंग एंड इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो दिस पर्टिकुलर लेक्चर विल स्टडी अबाउट द लैंडे इंटरवल रूल ओके दिस रूल वाज फर्स्ट गिवन बाय एन जर्मन अमेरिकन फिजिसिस्ट नेम एल्फर्ड लैंडे ओके जर्मन अमेरिकन physicist <coughs> alfred landy okay now uh, let us see what uh, this rule says okay this rule says this rule tells <coughs> that the energy interval spacing okay the energy interval spacing that is uh, the the energy difference between the different levels that is called the energy spacing the energy interval spacing <coughs> between consecutive levels of a fine structure multiplet fine structure multiplet <coughs> depends on oh sorry uh, depends on and uh, uh, depends on the highest the higher level that is proportional to j j uh, j plus 1 okay that is that uh, it means <coughs> that if we have two levels that is one that is j first one level and that is j s level then the energy different between the energy spacing between these two levels it depends on the level with the highest j value okay this is the rule now we have to find this rule we have to derive this rule okay okay <coughs> now the derivation or verification what you can say okay now in ls coupling in ls coupling the interaction energy can be can be written as how can be write we can write it as that is the interaction term in ls coupling that is a l dot s let's say this is equation number 1 what is a uh, this a is actually <coughs> interaction constant so this interaction constant uh, uh, can contain uh, a lot of uh, constant but uh, we don't have to bother about that uh, right now okay now the j the j is equal to l plus s okay j is equal to l plus s we already know that then j dot j will be equal to l plus s and dot l plus s okay now uh, let us simplify uh, this uh, and we'll get <coughs> Uh, j dot j is equal to l dot l plus s dot s plus twice of l dot s. Okay, so I can write that l dot s is equal to j dot j minus l dot l minus s dot s, and this whole Divided by two. Okay, this is very easy. Now, <coughs> uh, simply we can write it as L dot S is equal to the magnitude of J, the whole square, 
the magnitude of L whole square minus the magnitude of S whole square and this whole divided by 2. Now let's say this is equation number 2. Putting this equation number 2 in this equation number 1 we can write uh, I will write it on the other side. So we will get will get the delta e s dot l that this is equal to a by 2 and then j square plus l square oh sorry uh, it is minus minus l square minus s square okay this is simple now the magnitude of uh, we have to uh, write the magnitude of these terms and this will be equal to j into j plus 1 okay under root then h bar whole square minus l into l plus 1 under root h bar whole square minus s into s plus 1 under root and then whole square okay so so uh, make, making it uh, more simple it will be equal to a by 2 and then j into j plus 1 minus l into l plus 1 minus s into s plus 1 and then the constant okay this is very simple We can also write it as delta E S L is equal to A by uh, uh, we can write it A and then H square and then 8 pi square and then this L plus 1 and S into S plus 1. Okay. So uh, this is also a constant so we can write that E s dot L is equal to a constant J and J plus 1 minus L into L plus 1 and then minus S into S plus 1 so very simple now the energy difference is actually proportional to this okay here A is just a constant now when we apply LS coupling in LS coupling the uh, different uh, the uh, in a ls coupling uh, the multiplets the multiplets have same value same values of l and s the only value that differs is j value only value that differs are the j values okay so <coughs> the uh, has the energy difference between two left uh, two levels will be given by energy difference between two levels uh, uh, will be given as ej plus 1 minus ej so putting uh, this now a is uh, just a constant and uh, I can write it as uh, a this is equal to j plus 1 we have to put j uh, j plus 1 instead of j okay and then j plus 2 and minus l l plus 1 <coughs> minus s into s plus 1 and minus this j term that is a into j into j plus 1 minus l into l plus 1 minus s into s plus 1 okay so we we'll see that these will cancel out 
okay <laughs> and we left with this e j plus 1 minus e j it is actually equal to twice of a into j plus 1 simplifying this okay now the constant now we can see that the energy interval spacing the energy interval spacing between the two levels okay the two levels j plus 1 and uh, uh, the jth level the energy is proportional to the j of highest value that is larger of the two values involved so we can write write this as we can write it as that uh, <laughs> the energy spacing between the consecutive levels depends on the larger of the two j values uh, involved okay so in this way we have actually uh, proved uh, this is called this uh, this rule is called this is called lande interval rule now to understand uh, this rule uh, with uh, more accuracy with more detail uh, we uh, uh, let us uh, do uh, one or more examples okay so uh, we will apply uh, this rule directly on the uh, you know uh, these examples let us take the first example suppose we have uh, three uh, fine structure levels okay example 1 that we have three levels okay these levels are 3p0 3p1 and 3p2 now what is this these are called multiplicities and these are called the j's values now the energy separation the energy spacing between these two level this will be proportional to the jth value of this why because it is the highest value so the uh, the ratio of the the uh, the ratio of the uh, the energy level will be equal to this is 1 and between these two levels the energy will depend on the jth value or higher value and uh, among these two value this is the highest value and so i can write that the energy spacing between these two levels and these two level these are in the ratio 1 is to 2 okay it is a very it was a very uh, you know easy example let us take another example <laughs> now for example we have these three levels 3d1 and 3d2 and 3d3 okay again now if we see <coughs> the energy spacing between these two levels will depend on the this j value okay so and energy spacing interval between these two level it depend on this okay so if i write the ratio it will be equal to 2 is to 3 okay between this and this okay so the separation of level uh, i can write this separation <coughs> in is in the ratio the energy spacing between the ratio 2 is to 3 okay now another example 
example number three. Let us take now four levels. What now? Four D one by two. Four D three by two. Four D five by two. Four D seven by two. Now these are the J values. Okay, and these are multiplicities. Now in this. <coughs> let us find out the energy spacing width it will be proportional to the highest value so it will be 3 by 2 among these two it will be proportional to higher value it is 5 by 2 and among these it will be proportional to the highest j value and this will be 7 by 2 so okay we have the energy separation the energy, uh, spacing between two consecutive levels in this this will be in the ratio 3 is to 5 is to 7 okay so we can uh, see that uh, uh, the Landry's interval rule it is it was very helpful in uh, uh, theoretically predicting the uh, uh, the energy interval spacing between two consecutive levels in the fine structure multiplied fine structure multiplied means uh, when we apply the LS coupling to uh, you know uh, an atom which have uh, more electrons uh, in a multi uh, you know multi electron atom uh, then after applying the ls coupling we actually have to find uh, about uh, the energy spacing between uh, different uh, energy levels to plot them okay so uh, the landers interval rule uh, we have to you know uh, find the energy level spacing with the help of this Lender interval rule. Okay, guys. So in the next lecture, we will uh, uh, do some uh, very important problems. Uh, 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 I will try that. Uh, we'll uh, will do some, you know, very uh, interesting problems. Okay, uh, by which we can uh, understand this, you know, uh, Lender interval rule and the Celsius uh, coupling in detail. Okay. So till then, see you in the next lecture. Okay. Bye.